Hey, my love bugs. Good morning, boo-boos, or afternoon, or evening, or night, whatever time it is when you catch this reading. All right, loves, I am here to do the read for Cancer. This is going to be for Cancer all house placements so if the messages here are resonating then you know i want you to take them newbies cross watchers you are welcome here this is read from cancer's point of view however all right guys i want to thank you all for your likes shares and subscribes i appreciate each and every one of you all right loves if you wish to book with me or shop with me all that information is in the description box below um let's get into the reading for you all okay I got my coffee, y'all, so y'all, excuse me. <laughs> Let's see here. Messages for cancer. Messages for cancer. So, you know, guys, if you've been around with this channel for a while, when fall comes, I like to do scary stories, all okay? right? True paranormal stories. True stories, all right, guys? Um, so if you want to email in your paranormal stories, I pick from the paranormal stories and then I'll go ahead and I'll tell you guys what the person said and then I'll go ahead and I'll tell you their story. Of course, your name and everything like that will not be exposed. Information will be changed if necessary. And if you ask me to, of course, but I'm going to, and even if you don't ask me to, <laughs> Um, and then guys, at the end of October, I'm going to go in, pick a winner, whoever I felt like submitted like the best story. Um, and then you'll win a free reading with myself. Okay, guys. Um, but also when I tell that story, I do put cards on it. If you go look back in the channel, which you would have to probably look back like October last year. I did. We do it last year, y'all. I think we did. I I, I want to feel like I've been doing it every year, right? But the only difference is this year, guys, I'm going to tell you a few of my own paranormal stories because I don't know if I've ever told you. I know I've told some, but I don't think I've told them all, guys. And I've been experiencing things since I was a little girl. Okay, a little girl. So let's get into the read for you all. And you know it's so crazy. It's become so commonplace that now I don't even, when I see it, it might catch me off guard, but... I don't know if it really spooks me out anymore. Um, let's see. You got something hot and heavy coming in, baby. And it could be with a fire sign, a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Could be with a Gemini, an Aquarius, a Scorpio, even possibly a Taurus. All right. Now, would you, look at this. You got a heavy sexual connection coming in. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, y'all. This connection right here could be simply sex based. It could, um, if you're in, if, if that's what you're looking for, okay. Uh, if it, if this is not just sex based, oh, never mind. Let me shut my damn mouth. <laughs> okay, so eventually, this could possibly turn long term. This could possibly turn long term. It could turn into a commitment. But I feel like this starts out with a heavy attraction between the two of you. Um, I feel like you look good. This person look good. Y'all both put that shit on. Y'all go out together. And people are jealous, honey. People are jealous. They can tell the attraction that you all have for one another. Tell me more about the sun here. This connection is definitely sparking... A lot of talk. Whoever this is coming into your life, whatever this is that you're about to have going on, Cancer, this is sparking up a lot of talk. A lot of talk. Look at this. We got the Sagittarius down here. I told you, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries person. All right. Three of Wands. This is coming. I don't think it's that far off, to be honest with y'all. I feel like this person is showing up before the, the, before the year is out. Okay. Nine of Wands. And the Ten of Swords. Death. Yeah. Yeah. This is definitely something new. So for those of you who are concerned that I'm up here talking about an ex or something. Oh, no, baby. You moved on and you're moving into a time where this is about to be emotionally fulfilling for you. Okay. Whatever this is, is coming in. I like this energy here between you and this person. It's attractive, honey. <laughs> okay. 
It's attractive. I feel like you're looking good. This person is looking good. Like, y'all both put that shit on. And folks are talking. Temperance again. I'm telling you, something that you may think is going to fizzle out. Or maybe it's hot and heavy. Because, Cancer, understand. You ain't no saint, baby. You ain't no saint. And you get a little um, love, Jones, sometimes, too. <laughs> okay and this person right here y'all i feel like it's sparking that in you eventually i feel like this turns it's heavy it's hot like literally i am just heard beyonce song make me lose my breath like can you keep up mm -mm. yeah make me lose my breath yeah What's this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Y'all got heavy Aries out here. Heavy Sagittarius. You got um heavy Scorpio out here as well. All right. Understand this. Heavy, heavy, heavy Sagittarius energy. Yeah. Understand this, though. I feel like this is turning. I I'm sorry. This starts off. This starts off all, all uh, light. No strings attached. I feel like this may be how this starts out, but I feel like it pans out to be heavy. The chariot and the sun. Whether you want to be a part of this relationship is going to be up to you, Cancer. All right. It's definitely going to be up to you. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands energy. Can't start for like, yeah. This person is bringing out your inner freak. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. It's early in the morning, but this is what I see. This person is bringing out your inner freak, baby. And on top of that, somebody, they like, I want to see the real you. Whoever this person is that's coming towards you, Cancer, they're like, I want to see the real you. I don't want to see this, you know, clean cut Nine to five cancer. I want to see the after hours, the after dark cancer. I want to see the HBO after dark cancer. <laughs> you got to be old enough to, to know what that's about. Look at this. Justice and the fool, honey, and the two of cups. I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now. This is going to turn like long term. I feel like, hmm. This person gets to see a part of you that other people don't get to see with the star here. And the hermit carries the star with him, right? So, you're letting this person see this other side of you. They're able to bring it out, okay? I keep seeing you blushing over and over again. I keep seeing your face flushed. I don't care what your nationality is. I keep seeing your face flushed. The energy is hot and heavy, steamy. Mm -mm. Okay, now. Yeah. I'm sorry, y'all. You may start off very defensive. You may be... Saying to the person, like, I, I'm not like that. I don't behave like that. That's not me. I don't do that. But, baby, they're about to break down the walls. This person is about to break down these walls, Cancer. Okay? They are. I'm sorry. I don't know who this is. I don't. If this person comes in, Cancer, this could be somebody that you... Don't let stay around for that long because maybe you're not looking to be long-term committed with this person. Or maybe you're just not looking for long-term commitment in general. But this person is. This person definitely is. And that's something you need to understand. Like, I feel like once they see this side of you, that's it. That's it. I don't, that is it. Tell me more about this death, the Queen of Cups. That's you over there, that Queen of Cups. 
the four of swords, y'all. And the nine of wands. Let me tell you something. Yeah, I'm sorry. You, healed, healed looks good on you. Healed looks attractive on you. You are pulling people's energy towards you. People want to know you. They want to get to know more about you. They want to be around you. They want to be in your energy, Cancer. Like literally, these are folks that want to be in your energy. They want to be, um, they want to be involved, baby. They, they, they want to be involved. They want to be around you. Do you hear me? These people, these folks are very much so interested. Very much so interested. Do you hear me? Tell me more about temperance and the ten of pentacles for cancer. King of Swords. Five of Wands. Some of you may try to fight how attracted you are to this person or how interested you are to this person. All right. Some of you feel like because you're on a spiritual journey that it doesn't allow you to. Um, I hear a vow of abstinence for some. I don't know what that's about. Okay, some of you may be choosing to, on your spiritual journey, maybe you're um, refraining from doing certain things. Maybe you're not eating certain foods. Maybe you're fasting. Maybe you are also... Um, Fasting from like sexual contact, you know, practicing abstinence during this spiritual journey or some work that you call yourself doing on yourself. And that's cool. That's cool and all. But you're up here. You're going to try to fight this temptation or this attraction you have towards this person. Okay. I think you better let it go. Mm-hmm. Because this looks like, this is, this looks like, I don't think it's going to be that simple. Tell me more about temperance. Yeah, I feel like some of you are on this spiritual journey. The Ten of Swords is in the reverse. The Will of Fortune. Why do I see some of y'all feeling like this person that has been sent in to throw you off your spiritual path? No, that last motherfucker was sent in to throw you off your spiritual path. This is somebody that's simply coming in and they're attracted to you. They think that you all look good together. You make a good pair. All right, and this person showing up as the emperor, I feel like this person may see empress energy. And you guys remember there is no gender in tarot. So you can be a man and still be the empress, okay? But what I do want to stress is the fact that this is somebody who sees the potential for you all to really be able to build and connect. But understand, it starts out with a sexual attraction. Everything starts out with sexual attraction if we're going to be for real. I mean, I may feel energetically pulled to you, but first, I'm attracted. Okay, so let's be for real. Let's be for real. Let's be for real. Let me get a final message for you on this energy here, Cancer. Looks good to me. I like it. I mean, I don't think there's nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying there's a lot of good sex. For those of you who haven't had good sex, good sex in a long time, or good sex, period, this is good sex. Let's see. Final message for cancer. Ain't nothing wrong with getting your feet wet, cancer. Just make sure that you are taking the proper precautions. Here I come in. With that mommy energy, that auntie energy, make sure that you're taking the proper precautions. I'm not buying no pampers and no bottles and no diapers. And it's much worse things that you can get than a baby. So make sure you stay protected, okay? Let's see here. Messages for cancer. Had to give y'all my little after school special speech that I give to y'all nephew. <laughs> Let's see here. Final message for cancer in this situation. Final message for my cancer in this situation. The Ace of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords. Let me tell you that I think that this, this masculine keeps showing up as this divine feminine energy. Let me tell you why though. Very independent. 
very honest person. This is not somebody who shies away from how they feel or what they feel. Now, guys, if this is a divine feminine for you, then, then okay, she is very honest to take it as it resonates. But for my divine femmes, this is a man who has embraced his divine feminine energy. And there's nothing wrong with that. This is why this man comes in as truthful and honest and seeking the truth from you. This is why this person wants to see your true authentic self. They want to see who you are. They don't want to see your representative. They don't want to meet the person who you are nine to five, okay? They want to know who you are when you're alone. They want to know the quirky you. They want to know the you that's when you're upset, when you're happy, when you're sad. They want to know that, okay? When you're bored. They want to know that. This is a fixer, a doer. Okay? This is someone who's very independent, but they're looking for a partner. They're looking for a mate. They're looking for their ace of pentacles. They are the nine of pentacles, pre-emperor and empress energy. Okay? The nine of pentacles is pre-empress. But out of respect for the fact that I have men watching, I say emperor or empress. Okay? Um... They're not a pentacles. They're, they don't need they don't need anybody. They want someone. And baby, ain't nothing better than having somebody who doesn't need you. Someone who wants you. Because a person who wants you will value you. A person who needs you rarely values you. They only value what it is that you bring to the table and what it is that you can do for them. Okay? Somebody who wants you values your time, values your opinion, values your outlook on life. Okay? This is somebody who wants to know, how do you feel about owning dogs? How do you feel about cats sitting on the countertop type of person? <laughs> Baby, because they don't give a fuck about your money. They don't give a fuck about your money. They wouldn't have brought, they wouldn't even even entertain you if they thought that you were financially messed up. Because this is somebody who has their ducks in a row. So, you know, real recognize real. When you're vibrating on the same frequency, when you're vibrating on the same energetic frequency, someone can see that immediately. Cancer, you walk in the room, you know who on your level and who ain't. I don't give a fuck what they got on. I don't care. This is somebody who knows that you're on their level. So they don't give a fuck. They're not asking about your money and finances. Do you eat surf and turf? That's what they want to know. What about all the antibiotics they put in the chicken? How you feel about that? You see what I'm saying? Like this is somebody who wants to know you. Not the political you, but they can have those conversations, okay? Like, this is somebody who has a healthy balance in life. I like them. Yeah, they're looking for their, their Ace of Pentacles. And, and they see you as the Ace of Pentacles. And so both of you being a Nine of Pentacles energy, I think that both of you are offering that Ace of Pentacles to one another, which is that stability. That's that stability, Cancer. But this is eventually over time, I feel. I feel like when you first connect, this is fun. It's fun. You're having a great time with this person. Look at this. The strength card. Yeah. Someone that wants to know. I, I, I already know if you match. Look at this. Five of Pentacles. Can you withstand the time? In the reverse there. Can you withstand time? Are you someone who is truly here to build? To be connected, all right? I feel like there's a lot of wealth and abundance that comes from this connection. Tell me more about that. Look at this, the devil. What's the devil here? Temperance. The Eight of Pentacles. And the Nine of Wands. I feel like either you or this person have had an experience where someone tried to trauma bond to you or they tried to trauma bond to them. Um, they're not looking for that type of relationship. They're not looking for something that's smothering. 
um, something that is manipulative or controlling, okay? They don't have time for that, and they're not even working towards that with anyone. Like, if you're trying to be manipulative or a cancer, and I'm, and I'm not saying you are. I'm just telling you what this person doesn't want, okay? They're not looking for someone that's manipulative, that's trauma-bonded to them, somebody who doesn't know how to live a life outside of them. Like, you have your friends, and I have mine, and so we can meet up in the middle, all right? This person has a work, let's work together, not against one another type of mind, okay? Like, we should be making life easier for each other, not harder, all right? Tell me more about this. Look at this, the Six of Wands, the Page of Pentacles. This is why I said that this um, starts out slow, y'all, because no, I feel like there's no idea here that you, are, or you all are going to be long-term committed with one another. I don't think that either one of you sees it this way, but this is what it is going to turn into eventually. Tell me about the page of wands for cancer. The eight of wands, the two of pentacles, and the five of wands. Yeah, see, you're going to feel that. Look at this. The empress and the four of pentacles. You're going to feel this immediately. Um, some of y'all gonna take y'all time because I feel like both of y'all are good looking and you like mm, you probably got other people interested in you and they're looking at you like hmm you probably got other people interested in you you know mirroring that that energy but I feel like you're both what each other needs you did show up as the king and queen of wands baby so that is a divine union that is definitely uh, a partnership all right so loves this is where I'm leaving this off at. Uh, I hope you found this reading enjoyable. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe, baby dolls. And until next time, Cancers, bye-bye, baby.